Hello, this is an unboxing video of a Tonino Alert. So to explain what this device is, this device is your own personal severe weather tracker. So this thing actually has built some NASA technology. So, so uh, this radio or this device can detect tornadoes, lightning, and other severe weather threats for your area. So this could detect any type of severe weather near your area, like lightning and other stuff. So this thing can run up batteries. It's like it's, it's just like somewhere like a weather radio, except this is a storm tracking device. So let's see what the book says. Uh, yeah, it does at least about 30 mile range. That's what it can detect. And I think this is the, I don't think a lot of people have owned this as much. Oh, that many people do. I apologize for misgrammar. I'm not good at making unboxing videos. So, or anyways, I'm just gonna go ahead and just start opening it. Let's see what it looks like. It is, it is actually pretty small. So, let's hopefully I can open it. Okay, there's now the box, just the box, and now I'm just gonna actually gonna open it. Okay, slides it like this. Oh, yeah, Let's see, slides it, it slides. It's wrong, why are you not coming out? There we go. Upside down. Upside down. Quick start guide. No oh, two users. Here it is. Yep, that's all it comes with. No, yep, this is what it comes with. So now I'm just gonna start I'm taking the stuff out. Uh, the AC, the DC jack. I'll read the owner's manual before plugging this thing in, so make sure I'm following the instructions correctly. So, always read your instructions manual before trying it or before putting it in use. So, get the AC, DC. So. I'm just gonna take this out of the package. Uh, I gotta get my scissors all the way across. Not to do it. I'll put, I thought it comes with a 9 volt battery, I don't think it, it, it doesn't, but I thought it did. Nope, that's fine, I, I already have an extra 9 volt battery, just right away. Get it out. Yeah. Well, I'm not going to put the 9 volt battery in it, yeah, I'm going to actually plug it in, 
to see if it likes where it's at because I, I have a place for it. If it doesn't like it, I'll put, I'll try, I'll probably, I, I don't know where I'm going to put it yet because I have, I know it's near, it's at least near a window, but it's, it's just odd how it's set up, so. Okay, I'm just going to read the owner's manual and then I'm going to hook up the power. Alright, I'm going to power this thing on, have it ready to let's see if it works. Come on. Must have hooked it wrong. Is it hooking the way it? Oh, it's on and off. I forgot. There's an on off switch right there. Just don't if you're gonna hook it up, you're gonna make sure that switch is on. He might get confused, but now I'm gonna let it rip. Why well, don't I see anything? The, uh, it's not responding. This should, should work. Okay, I'm just going to reboot it. I don't know why it's not. Are you? Here we go. It's not liking where it's at. I think it's in the bad place. Let's see what I can do about it. There we go. The LED sign, which is which is new, it might be interfering there, which is only approximately three feet, maybe. My head, I'll turn it off for now. Do it finish this is a self test. Okay, yeah, they finished the self test. Yeah, I think that was inside. It could have been interfered by me, which I don't know why. Alright, we're clean, we're good, set. I think this is it. I think it's good. Well, I want to do some temple test on it. Alright, it's all set up. I just put the 9 volt battery and I was hoping it can put a, a, a big strobe light for it, but not right now since I don't know if if it would work or if it affect the, no, it, the, the speaker from sounding. So, I, well, does it say almost manual? Well, I, I don't know, it's just a bit. So, yeah, I just, so I can't actually self test this or manually test this. It, 
is this is not a demo unit this is a real unit so I don't know why I don't want you to actually manually test it so I could tell you what what it would say if it detects no rents that means uh there's no intimate to thunderstorms but if it says thunderstorms it's just saying th thunderstorms then if it says severe thunderstorm that it, the screen will well it will all of it will say on the screen so well, right now it's no rents so. If it if it sees a tornado, if it, the screen displays tornado intimate, that means it's, it might be seeing a tornado or one of the severe thunderstorms. If it if it if the screen changes a tornado, tornado is likely on the ground and is heading toward my place, so or, or near where I'm at. So uh, if it displays lightning, it it means it's. And there's lightning near my area, so I think this likely is going to go off for lightning near my area probably in April. That's when we see some th thunderstorms. Maybe in May or late April, I might get some alerts from this. I'm going to try to get videos of this thing actually going off for like severe weather and lightning because I want y'all you know, understand what it does in this. So I don't, I ha when I looked it up on YouTube, there, there are not that many videos of this device going off for alerts. So I'm just gonna grab some my own videos of it and show it on YouTube. Cause this 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 thing would were great. I didn't hear about this until I found it on eBay. So, but technically my parents bought it for me for my birthday, which is that's not why it's, it's uh, I got it for Christmas. I did not get it on Christmas. I apologize for the misgrammar. So I did not get this for Christmas. I got it on my birthday. So this device is is really expensive to purchase, about eighty dollars to ninety dollars. On the website, you can you can try to buy them like for like fifty dollars used, but I prefer you buying a new a brand new one for warranty and stuff. So, I I bet this device will be will be great for me. And if I if I weekly test my tornado siren, it might interfere it. I don't know if it would. It doesn't like loud noise, and it doesn't like the lamp, which I ha which I'm not going to plan on using. It's right next to it, and if it's on, it's not going to like it. So this is where it's going to be at for now. I think later on I'm going to put a big strobe on it that I technically bought for it, just just not yet, till I understand what it will do and stuff. And oh yeah, in the link of the description, th there is a demo video of this. Well, not the, this exact unit, just a demo of this device, so you understand what it is, and it has full information what this thing can do and stuff. I'm not very good at making uh, videos of me talking and stuff, so uh, just please check out the link. If you're really interested in this device, please check out in the link in the description below. And uh, this is probably all I can say now. I just hope you would purchase this because I bet this device would work great for your area. Especially where I am, I don't know if it go off for like tornadoes. If I receive it, if I do, I'm gonna take a picture of it. So I'm gonna have to go.